So it shows checking point just in front of the wheel there. There's a steel beam at the back of it. And similarly, shows a jacking point just there. And again, there's a steel beam behind it. The trims are tight to come off. Got a rubber covered lever that you can just put in the back of the hole and ease it out. That's it. Ooh, that's a 17 millimeter. Jack handle. It was here a minute ago. Oh, there it is. So stand under the, the front of the frame. Rust proof these wheels over the rough. There we have some ventilated discs. Is it jacked up? Oh, jack stands, wheels off. Right, I want to take the front bumper off. I need to disconnect the wiring to the indicators. It's a case of Reaching up behind here and a little clip. <laughs> See there, there's the connection removed. Same on this side. And that again, that's the connector removed. Now there are two bolts, there's one here. The one behind this panel up here. Take this panel off, it says just go up behind and push it off. Some clips, oh yes, a couple of clips here. A couple of metal, a couple of metal clips go in the slots and a bit that hooks under the back. And in there is a the bolt. One there. Let's get this one off of you. Metal clips stayed in there. Now, a ten mil spanner. Slightly at the moment. There's my 10 mil socket. Two fasteners down here. Get in with this. 
need two hands for this. traction motor of the belt drive it's your 48 volt connections it's your CAN bus connection CAN bus power big blob of weld <laughs> yep <Yeah. laughs> I've seen better welding <laughs> I've seen a lot better welding. <laughs> yeah, almost got that weld. <laughs> Same with that one. Honest to let the water drain out. <laughs> yeah, some very fine welding in there. As you can see, pretty thin coating of paint. I'll get as much of this covered in Lanagard as I can. And there's your brake master cylinder in there and your brake reservoir. I'll just earth into there. Yeah, I think that's just the whole load of earth wires, wiper motor and washer that's the washer cable that will oh, no doubt <laughs> oh, washer cable here, no doubt freeze in the winter <laughs> this has got all the protective arches in To get in the back there, I don't know to do the rust proofing. Springs, first and struts, or whatever they are. Yeah. Or wishbone. Again, can all get coated in lano guard. Just inserts for screwing the front bumper on. Be able to work out what the uh, the final drive ratio is by turning the motor and counting the or turning the wheels and counting the number of turns the motor makes. It's got uh, ten grooves. It's five nine three. That will be in millimeters. SK eight one two one. Poly V, Hutchison Poly V, EPDM, part number A456345, also 9838399288 is zero. It's got a 73mm drive pulley and 124 on the differential side. And obviously there's a, a ratio inside the diff as well. That's the input to the differential. Bits of MIG wire sticking out of the welds here. And a 
nasty sharp things. I'm off. Down there, yeah, it's a very, very poor welding. I'll wash the muck off the bits, I'm going to be rust proofing. So, I've got my Lanigard rust proofing kit, it's a lanolin based product, it's a fairly, fairly thin coating, yeah, meant to put it on every, every year just to top it up. They also give you some thicker grease for putting on bolt heads and such like. Uh, I've got a spray bottle and I've also got a little sprayer that goes into the little two and a half litre bottles. Two litre, however much is in there. Yeah, however much is in there. And then the little lance that screws on and you spray into the, the box sections. Okay, I've screwed in one of these. Slightly. See if we can get it how it comes. There it goes. Oh, the spray is fine. You up somewhere. Put it back on. Right to get the back bumper off, you need to take the number plate light off, reach up behind, and then uh, push the clip in and uh, put it in. And then you can. Oh, I need two hands for this, I suspect, to disconnect it, and then feed the loom back in. Is it a lift or a push? It's a lift. <laughs> it's a light. Inch. Shove the loom back through. And then we've got the usual trim panels to pop out. Bolt there, bolt there. Trim panel, bolt, bolt. No doubt you need to disconnect the indicators as well. Rear bolts as usual. I've disconnected the side lights. Well, the side lights, these are indicators. Disconnected doors. Disconnected the number plate light. So 
Oh, here we have the back of the car. See a windscreen washer bottle up there. It's access from inside the car. The fuse boxes are up here as well. Again, access from inside the car. I suspect we've got an ECU for controlling things there. Coil over shock absorbers onto the suspension arms, drum brakes. A speed sensor on one wheel. So I don't know if that just for the speedo or and or the 28 mile an hour limiter. You have your 12 volt battery here. And then you've got your main contactors for the 48 volt battery that sits in the back there. The sprayed everything visible and get the box sections inside them. Brake lines, all sorts of things like that. Inside every tube that's got an opened end. Just put it back together now. Up an axle stand so we can get underneath. Finish off the last spoofing. Driver's side done as well underneath. All the box sections have been gone through. All the sheet metal surfaces. That's it all rust proofed. All back together. All the lights should be working. Check the indicators. Yep. Front. And rears. Rear lights, number plate light, headlights, everything's working. <laughs> 